Very windy earlier on, wasn't it? Yeah. Very good for the wind farms, but isn't very good for the wind, is it? says Jennifer. I've had my COVID bad jab yet, have you? Do you know, I, I don't want to COVID you don't jab. Want, you don't no, want I to wouldn't COVID. have a COVID jab if they offered one. You wouldn't, no. Okay. Definitely not them. In my case, they no use. Made my life worse having those. And I think they've taken AstraZeneca jabs off, and that's what I had, AstraZeneca, the second one. Now the first one was AstraZeneca. I think the other one was Pfizer, something like that. Did you, you did say you was going to try again? Did you try again to see if they got a bra that would fit me? I found that some, half the trouble with my back because I've always had a very straight back, me, Jennifer did. Mm -hmm. Very, very straight. Yeah. And, you know, when you haven't got a bra that fits you, you know, you're like, and I haven't got what you very, very big breasts, but I do need a bra that fits me, you know. Over the years, I've always bought my own, but I haven't been able to get get out to get it, get one. The thing is, a bra is a very personal thing, so you can buy a, It's like clothing. Now, I do know my size. Yeah, but it's a pers it is a personal thing. I mean, I've got used shoes before now, and they've been too small. Well, yeah. I've gone online, and I've looked at bras, right? I know you have. I've just... I just said, did you just double check just to see if they had got one? They're doing these things now where they're not going by sizes. They're just going small, medium, large, next stretch to large. I don't know, you see. No. They're, they're, all the okay, sizes so are changed. I thought I'd see if you, do, you, you had that. Thank you very much, Jeanette. I was wondering. I did get you flowers, didn't I? I got you some there earrings. There they are. They're still there. I got there. you some earrings for your birthday. Yes, I know you did. Did Charlotte bring anything? No. Or a card? No. Sue got you some bits. I'm not talking about what was bought me. I'm asking about the bra, which is general, not for my birthday. No. A bra is a personal item. You really need to get measured. Well, I do know my size. Yeah, but it, the, the sizes have changed. I don't know over the over the past well, year no, or so they've no, changed. No. Why don't you see? Why don't you? I I don't know what to suggest. I went to Anne Summers to have a bra fitted. What you Janessa did, Jeff? Yeah. yeah. That's gone now. That's closed down in Chatham, the Pentagon Centre, and Summers. It's been very, very hard these past few days. Is it? Yeah. Very, very, very nasty. What's that? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, just talking, you know, just on the... No, I've got, I'm being messaged by very nasty individuals that are now going into my social media and uh, trying to mess about. And I'm waiting for this Sergeant Ash to ring me back from the Kent Police. 
and all I get is young women answering the phone and, and making stupid noises and being silly. And what happened to me the other day was serious. So until the Kent police do their job properly, we're not going to get anywhere, are we? Well, I wouldn't know. I haven't had anything to do with the Kent police. Me, Jennifer hasn't. I have since 2008, since I've been down here, and they've never done a thing. And even when they come out, they've done nothing. I don't, I mean, I find it rather stupid that I get someone going down my social media reporting me for bits and pieces. Um, at least I'm trying to help other people. I'm not sat on my backside like the police seem to be doing, doing nothing. And that won't do them any good because you can, you can, um, it's, it's, Brian Harvey's gone for it. Because he tells the truth, people report him, right? So they remove his videos, and then he comes and he comes back with another account. That's not going to work. That won't well, work. I don't really know how it all goes because I've never used a computer or mobile phone, so me, Jennifer, really can't comment. Obviously, you've got your own distresses and whatever, and you'll deal with them in your own way, which is the right thing. That's to move out of that block of flats, not give anyone my address. At all, nobody. And people, that means when, me, does it? Me, Jennifer, your mum. When I move, right? No, this is for my safety. What is going on? I am being hounded and hunted like some kind of animal. I'm having dogs jump on me. The neighbours are ganging up on me. I'm not a dog. I'm a woman. The post lady. You don't say to somebody you can retrieve your parcel. You tell a dog to retrieve, right? This is not funny. I'm not laughing. No, not you. It's not funny what's going on. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. And yeah, I am called Crystal. Right? Leaving black books out with black men on. Throw it, leaving food on the floor is not what I call adult behaviour. And racism is disgusting. My name isn't black, it's white British. And my skin colour is white. So what is... What, what's and so is mine, Jennifer's. Yes, but she, you know, I'm putting up with this, this hatred. And I've been to the police about it, they're doing absolutely nothing. Right, it's affecting my mental health, not in a way where I'm mad. But it may, I'm sat isolated in that flat, being bullied by people at all angles, with nobody else to talk to, no one. No one, I don't see anybody at all. I'm lucky I actually spoke to the postwoman today because I hadn't had any posts for days. So something dodgy is going on and, and I believe what they did this morning to me is being done to try and get my channel removed because they're guilty of something and it won't stop me and it's all coming from, from somebody in a dating application who I spoke to yesterday and that now this the one in here now is calling himself Night Dog well, anything with dog in it and you know, a, a dog is an animal. It's a fluffy, cuddly animal. I've got a dog. You keep a dog as a pet. Now, if they call me a cow or a horse or an old goat, I might be offended. But what's wrong with being a dog? And why would somebody make themselves look terrible? You know, you walk around, you look smart. I, I don't look old and haggard. Why would people go around looking dirty old and haggard on purpose that that's not me do you know when i was working in gloucestershire at the bankruptcy office because i wasn't a cleaner the job center sent I me i wasn't no, only no, a no, cleaner. No, no. i know but i was a bankruptcy clerk i worked for the queen i took an intelligence test i'm not dirty and i'm not stupid 
I wasn't and for I'm five years. I'm not stupid either. No, I never said you was. But they're hiding something. They're covering something up, and it might do them any good because they, they get stopped at every turn. So it's all right to attack me. Uh, same with Brian Harvey. They attack him, but the police. You know, coming out with guns in holsters like they did at my old address to a woman that's reported uh, reported incidents. Now, come on. Anyone can see I'm not a bloke, and I'm certainly not six foot two and six foot wide. I'm tiny. Is it necessary for men to square off to a woman? Does that make them feel big? We know it's a complete cover up to, to cover up uh, cover up things, and trying to make me look like I'm the I'm the, the criminal when it's been done to me. I, I carry on. I won't get people anywhere. There's nothing on me. I'm completely innocent. And me, Jennifer, never lived in Gloucester, did I? No. guilty person would run off and hide. I'm quite willing to stand up and speak. There is no evidence against me whatsoever for anything. And if people have got evidence, show it to me. But I am not being witch hunted and frightened and hounded out of places when nobody's got any evidence at all of anything. Yes, my name was Janestra, and I'm, that's my name. I'm not hiding. I've done nothing. Well, I'm not hiding either. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about what happened to me. People are going down dating sites, mm. including members of the family, and pretending to be people they aren't. That, that's against the law. Mm. Well, at least I know who I am. I'm Jennifer. What's that I know I'm 78 to? years of age. So what's, why have you just told me that? Well, at least I know who I am. Well, that's so does everybody else, don't they? You just said people don't start making out. They don't know what they are. They aren't, well, they, no, this is not that. They're doing it on purpose. They know who they are. They're using fake profiles. Well, I haven't got a profile. A, I never as said. far as I know, I don't use a computer or a mobile phone or anything else. I know, but Only these... Only Alexa, I mean, Jennifer These silly people the, don't know that they... Phone. These silly people don't realise that every time you phone, every time you send a message, it, it leaves a trace. <coughs> I know, I have a... Well, <coughs> when the police do go through murder cases or domestic violence incidents, they check the perpetrator's mobile phone and the victim's. 
But I don't have one. I'm not talking about you, am I? Why do you think everyone's talking about you? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you, not about you. <coughs> so all I'm saying is you leave a trace and these people will get caught. They will. Last message was at 20 to 12. I look lively. It was lovely the other day. Now I look lively. I know there's a bloke called Cleverly. Is there somebody called Lively? It's a politician called Cleverly. So we've got, uh, what is it? Good morning, how are you doing? Lively profile. And then it stops. Apparently they wanted to meet me this afternoon. They can't, can they? Don't ever go and meet them, Janester. I don't. No, I don't. Please don't. I don't. The police have already warned me about that, and so is the. Please, no, no. In any way. No. I don't know who they are. It's the same person texting using different profiles. We've gathered that. And this XO, 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 like OXO, mm. makes me wonder if it's a woman. Because I, I, I couldn't imagine a, a man texting like that. It's odd. Now, I really did think it was just stupidity of someone being silly, mm. but the past few weeks now I believe it, it, they're actually getting dogs to to to, to like hound me off the path. Um, this it's getting serious now. If it wasn't for Max, I wouldn't have left my flat. No, no. No, I'm, there, I'm being victimised and bullied without a shadow of a doubt. And that's not a thing a postman says. You can retrieve your parcel from there. And then next door's dog started barking. I get a text in the f four in the morning, four in the morning. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I feel tired, I feel worn out. This person or persons is um, harassing me 24 seven, whether it's noise nuisance from the neighbors or outside or something. I'm not a dog. It's just it's awful. What if their dog bites me? What are they going to do if it bites me or cuts me? Just stand there. If somebody's a coward as well, just letting me go through this. And how long has it actually been going before, before I noticed it? I know Dad called me a monkey and a pig. And that's actually racist. He couldn't get away with saying that now. He was calling me a black person, do you know that? He was calling me a monkey. And that was as a child. So what did I do as a kid to deserve that? 
Not you, don't call me it. What did I do to deserve that? And I know he didn't like black people, did he? He was very racist in the car. But why was he calling me a monkey? He couldn't get away with what he was doing, you know, now. He couldn't get away with it at all, what he was, he was doing. So I'm not saying anything against you, Mum. It's just, this has been going on since I was a kid. And I know you worked. And I... I